Hello and welcome back to Tiny Rebel. Calendar today is day 15. Um, so let's get straight into it and open up and see what we've got. Alright. Ooh, purple calendar this time. So, there it is. We've got ourselves a Quebec IPA at 5.8%. Eyes pale, nose is grape, taste is candied. Uh, and then on the back it says... Wise man once said, Norway has crinkly edges, but it's old Oslo cold. I don't know what that means. Um, so when the Quebec started coming out, who else to turn to but the hottest man in the brewery, me, Owen. Not just a lover uh, and friend, but also the very man who brought Sexy back. Uh on my own and it came willingly this is a booming ipa to see you through enjoy and then that was owen noix from packaging ops said that there. and it's another vegan beer um purple can i don't think i pointed it out but the numbers the color of the number is the color of the can and they've gradually gone from white to 25 which is black um so yeah quebec ipa I look forward to drinking it, uh, so I'll see you then. Welcome back to the Tiny Rebel Advent Calendar. Um, this is 15, I went over it all this morning. Um, except the can art, I didn't mention the can art. It's got like an Andy Warhol style about it, which was quite nice. I didn't mention that, but there you go, mentioned. Um, so let's crack it open and see what we've got. Right, so there it is. Very carbonated drink. Um, a lot of carbs stuck to the glass, but it's going away quickly. We've got off white ivory looking head, uh, very compact bubbles, the usual IPA works. Let's get a. Oh, hold on, I didn't mention the colour. Orange in colour. What's it say on the can? It says pale. I wouldn't say it's pale, I'd say it's orange. Um, hazy, no bits. Let's get a smell show and see what we get. The nose says grape, but I'm not getting grape. I'm getting orange, I'm getting citrus, pa um, oh, passion fruit, grapefruit. A bit of mango, a bit of pineapple. It smells fruity, but I'm not getting what it says it smells like. It's a mouthful of burning carb. Carbonation's light, body is medium. Slightly bitter as well. So far, so good. It's actually really good so far. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Ooh. I just want to say, that description is all wrong. But I'm not going to fault it because it's still a nice beer. Um, flavour. It's got an entire basey flavour of like an earthy grassiness. Um, it's quite earthy, quite, I don't want to say dirty, like soil dirty, but it's quite, compared to like normal IPA, it's quite dirty. Yeah, it's really, really earthy. Um, a little bit of mango in there, a little bit of grapefruit citrusiness in there, a um, bit of pineapple. Overall, it's nice. Um, it's got a nice bitterness to it. Not an overwhelming, just just the right amount, which is slight. Um, it's got a slight dry finish as well. It's that earthy flavour though throughout. That's lovely. Mm, definitely. Definitely, definitely. That's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I, I, I love this. This is really nice. Every beer after this is just like this. Then that's that's fine. That's perfect. Well, obviously, like stouts and stuff will be in there. Hopefully, um, hope I'm just asking that they're all nice. 
Um, but yeah, this one is, is lovely. I'm actually happy with this one. 5.8, good balance. <sighs> lovely. Yeah, so I'm going to go away and enjoy this because I really like this one. Uh, Tiny Rebels Gavec IPA, um, day 15 out of 10. I'm probably going to give this a nice 8. I think it's lovely. Um, I think the details, the description's all wrong, but I'm not going to mark them down for wrong description as long as it tastes nice. That's all I'm asking. Um, yeah. 8 out of 10. If you've had this, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Tiny Rebels website down below. Where as far as I'm aware, pardon me, you can still get the advent calendar um, for £87.50, whole English pence, um, which is a lot of money, but you get a glass. Hopefully 25, well, I, must, I wanted to say hopefully 25 good beers, but I've had some bad ones. But there you go, you get pros and cons. You get good, you get bad. Hopefully the rest are good. Um, yeah, if you've not had it, I so far recommend it. Um, yeah, If you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff if you want to subscribe to doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.